G'day fellas and welcome back to the Dreadnoughts franchise. Today we take on the 5-5 five and five New Orleans Saints. Now even though they are 5-5, five and five, I highly doubt their team is a 5-5 five and five team. I bet they're one of the best teams in the NFL. In fact, let's do a little bit of scouting. We are a few years in the future. I know for a fact Drew Brees isn't there anymore. Who is their quarterback? They have Michael Thomas Steele, Alvin Kamara, who's going to be a pain in my butt. Marshall and Lattimore. Oh, man. Yeah, X-Factor and Cameron Jordan. Their quarterback is Jacoby Brissett, though. They haven't invested. They haven't drafted. Jacoby Brissett is an X-Factor. Woo! Okay, when did this happen? Let's start off by upgrading Tyson Bowie. He's going to be an 82 overall now. I think once we get to 85, we unlock our first ability. Yes, 85. Stanley Morgan Jr. going up overall, which is awesome. I want to try and get this guy more involved if I can. It's just the talent we have is already so great. And here's something I know you guys are going to be excited to see. It is the debut of our brand new safety tandem in X-Factor Jabril and X-Factor Bowie. We have four X-Factors on the defense. I think I'm going to deactivate Geno's though if I haven't done it already. Momentum shift players demoralize their opponents when they enter the zone. All on field opponents are knocked out of the zone. Ah, we gotta make hits the tackles, okay. We also have tip drill and universal coverage. Speaking of X factors and things of high overall, it is finally time to do our 2.0 player of this season. At the beginning of this season, I asked you guys, I said, make sure you keep an eye out on the team. 2.0 basically means we give a two stat boost in three different departments of our choice. For example, if you guys believe that Mario Gutierrez was to be our 2.0 player, we have two choices. We could either move him up to a superstar development or we could give him two plus in three different things. So throw power would go to 95, short accuracy to 90 and medium accuracy to 94. You catch what I'm saying? So down below, I need you guys to let me know who is officially going to be our 2.0 player of this season. There was a player I was meant to scout, but I forgot who it was. Jack Soros Rex, that's right. He's projected in the second round. He doesn't look as good as the other defensive ends, not going to lie. But still, if we have, you know, a multitude of second round picks, uh, I'd gladly pick him up. Currently, we have all our draft picks. I'm definitely going to be making some changes. I might even trade away Mario if he doesn't get 2.0, but I want to get Scott McQuack. I want Trent Key back. I also want a lot of offensive linemen, so the world is ours, mate. Benjamin Sachs out of Notre Dame has a very high chance of being taken in the top three picks. Standing 6'1", 246, he's a pretty prototypical run-stopping linebacker. The difference is he has the heart of a lion. He carries the Ray Lewis gene. Now, I'm not trying to compare him to Ray Lewis necessarily, but he is a leader. He's one of those guys that motivates the rest of the team. Leads by example, if the team gets blown out or he feels like he didn't play as well as he could have, He'll be the first to tell you he let the team down. Moving on to his attributes, so he's a very smart linebacker. Not many players have the ability to get around him once he's in front of them. And even if they do, he's right behind them and will not give up until the whistle has sound and the play is over. A future Hall of Famer. I genuinely believe Benjamin Sachs will be an X Factor, if not a superstar. And I feel like he will progress and become one of the best linebackers if we were to simulate 10 seasons. That being said, fellas, it is time to jump into our game for today. If you are new to the channel and you enjoy Madden and NCAA content, this is the channel for you. Don't forget to sub. Also, all of my social medias are down in the didgeridoo. If you would like to drop your boy a follow, it would be much appreciated. That being said, fellas, let's jump into it. Okay, so what's the strategy? They have Cameron Jordan. This would be good practice for when we rematch the Browns. Look for us to go short today. A lot of slants, a lot of drag routes. I don't want Cameron Jordan getting to the quarterback. In the division, we are currently tied with the Steelers and the Browns, so every win is crucial. Right over my head, Michael Thomas. Where is Michael Thomas? He's on the outside. Oh, wow. William Jackson got absolutely destroyed by Thomas on man. Oh, he's already got his X Factor. All right, I'm jumping on Jabril. Let's go. They still got Alvin Kamara back there as well. Oh, there goes the sack, Darius Leonard, man. That's his 15th sack of the season, mate. We ain't playing no games out here. And watch, I can look up Michael Thomas. Uh-oh. Can't look up Kamara, though. 
Come on, boys. This will be huge. Oh, right over my head! And we... F Why do we face mask so much? It's like we're trying to lose this game right now. It's like we don't want to win. That's how it comes across. There we go. Key on there to lock him down. Here we go. We bend, don't break. Our red zone defense is amongst the best. And right as I say that, we get embarrassed. <laughs> what a way to start the game. All right, I need a big game from the offense. I'm scared of Cameron Jordan. Here we go, Duke. Ooh, that's a first down. I'll take it. Look at that. We have a superstar offensive lineman. That's got to be uh, what's his name, right? I forgot already. Look at Dupree. Ooh. Dupree's got a block just in case, mate. Got to get the passing involved as well. Look at that. Matt Moore wide open. Got him with the juke. Mate, we can juke anybody. Remember, I got to look out for Cameron Jordan. We had somebody. Go, Mario. Somebody's open downfield. Oh. <laughs> We caught it! Matt, no, that's not Matt Moore, that's Evan Ingram. Mate, I threw that up and we got bailed out so much. We threw it up and we got bailed. Look at the gaps, come on! That's what I'm talking about, Alpha Male. LaMarcus Dupree, how many touchdowns is that on the season, mate? He's got to win MVP. All right, let's see if we can get a stop. Michael Thomas lining up on the outside. He's going to get sacked again. Keon Weathers gets through this time. Here we go. Nobody's open. No! How did... Oh, my... Bro, how did I miss that hit stick right there? All right, we're going to get risky. I feel like they are going to pass it, but... We're going to send the house, mate. We're going for the blitz. They are going to rush it. Whoa, okay. We hold him to a fourth down. That's cool. I like that a lot. Hold him to a field goal. They take a three-point lead. And we get possession to start the second half as well, mate. We're in a good spot. Coach, what do you want to do, mate? You want to pitch it? All right. We're going to go for the pitch on coach's orders. We've done a good job shutting down Cameron Jordan as well. Get that block. That's a nice block. Oh, that's not a first down, but... Oh, we got it off in the nick of time. Possession catch. Woo, I'm not taking a risk there. Uh-oh, we got a tired running back. Let's change it up. Remember, we got to go... We got to have short routes here as well. Oh, what? Bro, Matt Moore is a god. Thing is, we have so many good running backs. We have Foreman, uh, Rodney Anderson, to name a few. I mean, look at this. Foreman, he stiff arms one. Are they going to rush this out or what? Where's, who's on Michael Thomas? Jabril Peppers? All right. They go to the side. Oh, he juked me. Okay, time's ticking, but here we go. Let's call this crossfire. That's another dot. And we tackled him out of bounds of all bloody places. So it looks like going in a half, it's going to be 13 to 10. Ah, oh, man. I just... Yeah. Man, the Saints are difficult. I told you they're not a 5-5 five and five team. Good thing is we start the second half with the ball. I think it's time to let LaMarcus Dupree loose. All we got to do is get 10 more yards on one rush. And uh, we should have our X Factor. Oh, there it goes right there. It should be activated. Wait, what? Does it reset at halftime? What is this? Oh, that's BS, man. I was about to free the beast, man. I was about to let him loose. So, I don't like the fact that Dupree is receiving. Like, why is Dupree receiving? Oh, because he can do things like that. All right, we checked in Dante Foreman. This is exactly why we got him for third and two situations like this. I've got faith, mate. He's such a beast. Well, I mean, he had an open lane, but still. Up. Got him. Let's take that. Oh, I don't like this play all of a sudden. Uh, Alright, I guess we'll go slant. Oh, man, even all the receivers are tired. This is not good. There we go. We check and release. 
Evan Ingram, he picks up the first. Yeltsa. Oh, look at this. What is? What are they doing, mate? They're leaving half the bloody field open. Got him. No, we don't. Throw it out. <laughs> oh, I would never get over seeing Mario just run away from a, a big defensive end. That's hilarious. Ah, oh, that's an overthrow. All right, Stanley Morgan Jr. checked in, but that's always good. They're sending a blitz. Auden Tate. Wide open, mate. We take the lead in this game. Let's go. And that's what I'm saying. 2.0 players can change the game. Auden Tate was our first 2.0. Hey, the next one is up to you guys. Come on, we got to get Jacoby Brissett out of this X Factor, mate. Wide open. Boost! Okay, I missed another hit stick. I would have liked to have seen some plays from Peppers and or Bowie. There's still time, but... They just... Are they that good that they're not even going to target him, maybe? I know that's not the real reason. It's just kind of funny that Bowie or Jabril have not been tested today at all, mate. As we go into the fourth. Come on. Throw to my boy Jabril. He's going to get sacked. There we go. Yannick this time. That's three different people with a sack. This play is absolutely massive right here. We give up a, a touchdown. We got to fight back. But if we hold him to a field goal, different story, mate. Look at that. It's verticals. He's going to get sacked by Geno Atkins this time. Four sacks on the day. Let's get his block. Oh, I wasn't even remotely close. All right. I'm going to chew the clock out. You, you know why? I really want to win this game. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to activate first one free as well. Now we've checked in Rodney Anderson, one of our four running backs. That can get it done. Look at Rodney Duke. Ooh. Hey, still gets the first butt, and we're wasting that clock. We only need to get one more 10-yard run to get this activated. Man, it has been a grind. I'm talking a grind, grind butt. Oh, look at the juke! Another one! For good measure, Dupree, we finally got it activated. Let's go, boys. He is tired, but I don't really want to get tackled for loss here. Lucky we don't. Just keep it moving, mate. All right, let's go. We need this first down so bad. Woo! Ah, we got to bite the bullet. The thing is, but the Saints obviously need a touchdown, not a field goal. Oh, man, we need to keep this win streak alive. Hey, Bowie, uh, Jabril, if you want to make a play, now is definitely the time, mate. That's mine! Oh! Well, <laughs> that's my X Factor. I just got mossed. Oh, crap. This is not good. The first play, look how far they got down the field, mate. Gonna go short. Boost! The Karate Master there to wrap that up. That's another dot. Oh! Jabril on Michael Thomas. That's why he's our X Factor now. Laying down hit sticks. That also knocks everybody out of their X Factor. That is overpowered, bro. That's my. Oh, I thought I had a pick, bro. This is getting intense. This is some mum spaghetti shit right here. 39 seconds. They, they can have short. I don't care. They're just going to keep wasting the clock. That's 10 seconds every time. Go short again. I don't care. Oh, fumble. Go, Gino. Go, oh, Gino. Go. <laughs> Bro, he just... Get on the ground, Jacoby. Bro, that is the funniest thing ever. Gino's gonna have like a 30 stiff arm, mate. Oh, it was Preston Brown. Okay, I'm not really surprised. We're gonna do him dirty. Hopefully they don't cause another fumble to us. That would be catastrophic, but I want Dupree to get his yards up, mate. There we go. That's a nice little 10 yards there. They're gonna call a timeout. Ah, we can't get it. 
Hey, we walk away with another dub, but 20 to 16 on the road. We've got a 2.0 player coming next episode. And with that win, we might have just clutched the division. We'll have to find out next step, mate. Checking out the stats on the day, Jacoby Brissett still at a 123.2 passer rating, 300 yards, 89% completion rate, and one touchdown. Mario doing what he normally does. On the rush now, LaMarcus 114 and a touchdown, averaging 6.3 yards, proving to be the best running back in the NFL. On the receiving end, let's check it out for the Dreadnoughts. We had 56 to Ross, Matt Moore with 45. Auden Tate had one reception for three yards. Look at that. And a touchdown. Lamagas Dupree, 11 yards. Anyway, checking out the defensive end. Jabril Peppers, eight total tackles. That is crazy. Gino, Yarnick, Keon, and Darius Leonard all with a sack. I mean, what more do you want? We came into the game thinking Cameron Jordan was going to destroy us, and look what we ended up doing in that game. But with that being said, fellas, that's going to wrap up this episode of the Dreadnoughts franchise. Don't forget to let me know down in the comment section who's going to be the 2.0 player. If you made it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. I hope the rest of your day is awesome, and from me personally, I'm out. Peace.